Hi campers! I'm so happy to meet you here at Camp Candlewick. Camp Candlewick combines two of my all-time favorite things. Summer camp and summer reading. Love them both. Now this may not be the summer when you actually go to summer camp. It may not be the summer that you spend in a tent or a cabin or sleeping under the stars. It may not be the summer that you get to sit around a campfire singing camp songs. But let's face it, the very best part of summer camp is making friends. And you know where you can always make a friend? I know you do. In a book. I'll tell you, some of my best friends are in the pages of the story. So, first of all, thanks to Candlewick for inviting me. Secondly, thanks to you for reading Small as an elephant. This is the story of 12-year-old Jack. He does get to go camping. He and his mother have been planning a camping trip all summer long. They drive on Labor Day weekend up to Mount Desert Island in Maine, and when they arrive, finally, there's only one tent site left. Nevertheless, they take it, mom sets up her tent, Jack sets up his tent, and they crawl in. The next morning, Jack wakes late. He knows that he slept late because his tent is so hot. It's stuffy. He can't wait to get out of it and emerge into the cool air. So he crawls out of his sleeping bag. He's, he's hot. He's sweaty. He gets to the end of the tent. He unzips that door, that flap, and emerges into the cooler main air. And what does he see? No car. No camping equipment. His mom's tent is gone, and so is his mom. And Jack is 12 years old, and he's been left in a campground, and he has to figure out what to do next. I hope that when you reach the end of this book, Jack will be one of your new friends. Can't wait to uh, spend reading time with you. Bye-bye.